Hey everybody, just want to say hi. It's Mike from Pontoon Hydro Fuel Applications and we are um, actually doing the third leg, the finish leg of our trip um, for our proof of concept of what a Verifoil can do in the offshore conditions. We actually designed one uh, offshore uh, branded Verifoil that's going to be available to the public soon. Um, but we brought this over from, uh, from Fort Lauderdale to Bimini. Did that trip in one day, then we did Bimini to Freeport, and we've been here in Freeport now for um, seven to 10 days. And now we're leaving Freeport uh, and headed for back to Fort Lauderdale. So we're gonna do a little bit of a banana route. If anybody's interested, we're gonna go more up towards Great Isaac. Okay, and then once we hit Great Isaac and we're perpendicular to uh, Fort Lauderdale to cross the Gulf Stream, then we're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a right-hand turn and go perpendicular, almost due uh, west, and head into Fort Lauderdale. So the total trip with that banana route is gonna be approximately 88 nautical miles, and we're, we're expecting it to take us somewhere between six and seven and a quarter hours. Just So listen, we just wanted to say thanks for, to everybody for watching. Um, hopefully, the. The Lord will bless us with a safe trip and we'll be able to tell you more about this after we get in. All right, so for on the behalf of myself, Tracy, my escort crew, and Jim over there on the escort boat, the Blackfin 29, they're gonna be beside me. Um, we all say thank you. Hey everybody, we just tried going live. I uh, had a few viewers out there, but uh, listen, what we wanted to show you is that we are leaving Freeport third uh, of our three legs uh, getting back to the United States um, you know you can see we're doing 4,000 rpm we're actually heading towards Great Isaac which it should put us about perpendicular or due west of Fort Lauderdale um, and uh, we're cruising at about 15 knots 4,000 rpm this is uh, Freeport over here off to our right escort boat here Coming up on us.
Hey everybody, I don't know what the last check-in time was, but breeze is starting to fill in here a little bit. A um, lot more weeds. We've uh, slowed down probably four times, done back downs on weeds. And we're just trying to average between 14.5 and 15 knots uh, through these weeds. So we're about two and a half miles to a, to a point that we put out here northwest of Great, Great Isaac. Um, you can see we're still doing about 4,000 RPMs. We're down a little bit below three quarters of a tank of fuel. Um, and then if we look directly to the left, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's between the, the lower upside down V of the Bimini there. Um, that is Great Isaac, uh, which is just south of Bimini. Uh, I think about 20 miles south. Don't hold me to that, but I think it's about 20 miles south of uh, Bimini. So. That's great, Isaac, over there. We're going to be making a right-hand turn here in about two miles and um, heading into Fort Lauderdale. Hey everybody, we're back uh, on the way to the state still. It's 41 miles to uh, Fort Lauderdale. That's the actual inlet. Um, it has picked up. As you can see, we got white caps out here. Those cloud lines are still there. It looks like they got a more, little more breeze coming down. It looks a little bit darker back there. And uh, this chop is starting to get much steeper. Um, still not getting any water over the front because we're riding on the Verifoil, but it is definitely getting steeper, um, you know, as we're doing 14 and a half knots here. The escort boat is setting up on this other side here, and you can see them. Um, they're doing the same thing to this video, and you can see the big ship out there. Everybody, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, going back to the States. Uh, you know, we throttled back here a little bit, but we think it's mostly because of there's so many weeds. We're just carrying uh, weeds. These weed, like, weeds like weed lines, you can't even drive around. They're, um, they're just so pronounced that, you know, you just got to go through them. Um, we shook ourselves off uh, of weeds probably about, ah, uh, shoot, I want to say, 15 minutes ago and then you're right back on them again so we're doing about 14.9 15 um almost a half a tank of fuel yeah probably right out of half and then you can see the rpms have backed off a little bit here uh, 38 to 4 and we're out basically in the stream there's some big ships out there
Hey everybody, we're out here. We're approaching uh, Lauderdale, 21 miles, 21.9. Um, fuel's about three eighths, and then uh, still doing about 4,000. The speeds are 14 seven, 14 eighths. We're probably starting to get out of the Gulf Stream now, I would guess. Uh, but listen, I really don't know a lot about the Gulf Stream. I just know it's a big river out here. Um, I do see shadows of buildings. I believe that's Miami over there to the left, kind of right over the uh, framework of the port bow. Um, and Lauderdale, I think, is somewhere in front of us. So, um, actually, you know what? I could be wrong, right? Everybody, uh, we're approaching Lauderdale here. The inlet, escort boat in tow. Uh, we are definitely on fumes with fuel. We've got probably an eighth of a tank, maybe two bars, something like that. Trying to steer these waves just to get in here, but you can kind of see the chomp that's out here. Um, and the weed. I mean, we're going through tons and tons of weed. Uh, it's it's just everywhere. You, there's no, uh, there's no getting around it. You either go through it or go through it. So, uh, long story short, um, we're gonna slow down now because we just went through a bunch of weeds. And there's my escort boat right here. Listen guys, we just arrived at Fort Lauderdale, Port Everglades, and uh, I gotta tell you, the biggest surprise I had is number one, I got a great crew that's back there. Followed me the whole way through the entire trip, 200 and some miles, I think 240. Here's the minimum slow speed sign at Port Everglades, and I gotta tell you, if you look at the fuel, we don't have much left, but it's incredible that you can make it from Freeport, Bahamas to here with probably, I'm guessing, we may have one or two gallons in there, but it's a 22 gallon tank is what it's stamped on here. It's 20 foot, 75 horsepower. And, um, you know, I gotta say thanks to everybody, but wow, we made it with a gallon to two gallons of spare. And uh, wow, that's it. And uh, it's, it's picked up here. Um, it's out of the east, uh, probably at about uh, 14 to 15 here uh, today. Um, and that's it. So. Thanks to my ground crew, they need a wave, they are waving, and uh, we're...